And the question is, is it possible to forgive everything? And no, it's not possible. The raw situations, the raw events that cannot be forgiven, for example, rape or physical abuse. And the word forgiveness is not the correct word when it comes to parents. And let's talk about it a little bit. You cannot forgive your parents no matter what he or she did. Parent, your parent is always higher than you in a birth hierarchy. Uh, only the strongest, the oldest person who is on the higher level can forgive the person who is below him. If you put yourself higher than your parent, then you will become a parent for your parent. And you will never know the true reasons why he did what he did. You can never be in your parents' shoes. You will never live in his generation. The only thing that you can do is to accept that this specific event happened to you, happened in your life, and that was your parent in your childhood. It's hard, it's not easy. I'm not saying that it's easy, but you can pretend or you can go to this myth that I will forgive my parent. It's not gonna work. You cannot forgive your parent. He is or she is higher than you. The only thing that you can do is accept that this is your parent and this is your life. So stop constantly asking yourself why. Why this happens to me? Why it was in my childhood? Why I have such parents? You're driving yourself crazy with those questions. So just accept the fact that yes, it did happen to you. Okay, uh, Jose says, I had a lot of resentment towards my father because I remember always waking up to him yelling at my mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's painful. Uh, I personally went through conflicts in my childhood. My parents were screaming and yelling a lot, so I can relate to that. Later in my life, my mom told me that it was because she was always asking for more from him. That's, this is what I'm saying. You will never understand the true reason why he did what he did. You can never be in their shoes. It's different generation, different time. Mr. Grow, that's interesting point about parents. I try to understand my parents and how they grew up, the life they live from what I know. Yes. Uh, we, we can try our best and this is a good approach. You can try to understand your parents, but in reality, you can never fully understand them and you cannot uh, fully understand uh, their situation. Let's move on and thank you very much for sharing your thoughts. I really, really appreciate it. So feelings of resentment will screw up your relationship, your health, your finances and your happiness. And uh, I would like to share a few examples with you how those feelings can screw up your life. First example, a husband is afraid of making his mother upset. He is the good son. If his mother asks for help, he will change his plans, his family plans, and go to help his mother. So in reality, he's playing the game. I'm afraid that my mommy will get angry at me and won't love me anymore. So he is not a little baby, he is a, he is a man, but he's still playing this game and he is always ready to help his mother. He's always here to stop, to skip, to change all his plans and go and help his mother. A second example, when a wife is asking, when a wife is always seeking advice from her parents and not from her husband. So she's also playing a good daughter role. I'm going to my parents to receive a good advice. I am, maybe I'm 35, but I still playing a role of a little girl who needs advice from parents. Basically, she's looking for permission from her parents. Instead of living her life, making her own decisions, she's still in those parents-child relationships. Third example, when a person can't make his own decisions and look for advice from friends or from a Facebook group. 
And I'm sure you know those people, they cannot make any decisions on their own. Another example, when a person is constantly trying to please his boss, subconsciously he's playing the game of a good child who is afraid to make his daddy angry or mommy. So I'm trying to please my, my boss. I will make him coffee. I will ask him about his day. I will bring some candies for him. So I will try to please my boss because I am not in a relationship with the boss at work. In reality, subconsciously, I'm still playing a relationship with my father or with my mother. I'm stuck in this behavior pattern. Another example, when a person wants his boss to see his achievements on his own, like a child who wants to, he wants his parents to see how good he is without having to say it. Uh, and the last example, a woman who cooks dinner every day and hopes to hear a thank you, but never ask for it. And of course, it's not all the examples, but I try to get some examples from different area of your life so you can kind of understand the main idea. So all these situations were examples of psychological immaturity. So physically we are adults, but we still play in childish games. And the role of a parent we substitute with a husband, with a wife, with a colleague, with a boss, with our best friend, with the neighbors, etc. So we're still playing those games, but just with different people. An adult, an adult likes it as a child and does not even notice it. Who knows such people? Let me know in chat. Do you know such people? Who are they? And the truth is that we all act like children from time to time and we also do not notice it. This is how our old feelings, resentment and anger can screw up our relationship, our life, our finances, because we all have those feelings and we all act as children from time to time. So check your numbers that we determined at the beginning of the webinar. Those numbers are your numbers. Those numbers for you to reflect on and to grow from. And all people who are watching this webinar and who are gonna watch it later have a high level of awareness. If you are here, it means that you are willing to find out the truth about yourself and it means that you are brave enough to challenge yourself and to grow from this experience. Let me see your comments. Jose says, now I try to be honorable for him since I cannot ask for his forgiveness since he has passed away. This is, uh, thank you, Jose. Also, when um, parents passed away, we cannot truly connect to our feelings. We are suppressing them even deeper and even stronger. Because when a parent passes away, we have like mm, that invisible idea. Uh, I'm not sure what word to use, but basically when our parents are next to us, we kind of have a right to express our feelings. But when they pass away, this door is closed. And in reality, it is not. We can love our parents and we can be angry with them. We can love our parents and we can feel resentment towards them. Both statements are true. Jose says, uh, Vesant, great questions. I've had the same question because I feel guilty because I know that I can get them to do what I want, but not exactly what they want. But is it what we do as parents? Of course, of course, we have one vision for our child and our parents also had their vision for us. So it's not possible to fully understand our parents and our kids will also have resentment and anger towards us. This is the reality of life. 
uh, and we can be children about the situation and try to change it, try to influence our kids, try to kind of fight with them, or we can be adults and we can see how we can be a better examples for them, how to become a mentor for our kids, how to show them, you know, different ways of living. And then it's going to be their choice what lifestyle they will pick. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about sex, finances, uh, and relationship. 